Hey, I want to take a few moments to talk about launching and loading your boat. Who's had problems over the years at the ramps? Put up your hand. Okay, I have. Let's face it, it's a common thing to forget things, like putting the plug in the transom of your boat. Very important. Taking off your straps, your transom straps. Taking your motor toter off on this big Verado. The fact is, once you got those things off and also have your dock lines in place, now if you see that you're gonna back off on the right side of the dock, well then obviously you wanna put you know, your dock lines on the port side of the boat or vice versa, starboard, if you're gonna go off on the other side of the dock. And the key is, is to be ready with your life jacket, your dock lines, even before you get to the ramp so you don't tie it up. Now, once you get there, you want to back the boat in so that it barely floats off of the uh, bumps on the trailer. What this does, it makes it easier for you when you get into the boat to back it off of the bunks. Now, what I like to do is keep a foot or two away from the dock so that I can, on a high bowed boat like this, a short guy like me has a hard time getting into it. So what I'll do is I'll back it close to the dock if I'm by myself so I can walk down the dock, jump in the boat, go around, unhook your bow strap, your, uh, you know, your securing device in the bow. Take off your winch strap, start up the motor and slowly glide it off of the bunks. Now, when it's time to load, this is very important. This is the most common mistake I see all over the place when I'm launching boats, is people back in their trailers too far where that the whole trailer fenders are completely submerged under the water. What happens is they can't get the boat lined up properly on the trailer and it comes up sideways on the trailer when they pull it out of the water. Here's what you wanna do is back it in so that the bunks are about two thirds or three quarters submerged in the water so that they still have some of the bunks out of the water so that it can guide your boat on, especially a V-Haul like I'm using here. And with the bunks of your trailer that are partially exposed, it's a lot easier to drive your boat up onto the trailer and it'll guide itself on so it'll be centered. Now what you wanna do is drive it all the way up, turn it off, trim your big engine up, go hook up your bow winch, wind it up so it's nice and snug, and then tow it into a safe parking spot out of the way of others so they can get their boats loaded too. Put on your transom straps, your motor toter, you can take your plug back out so you can drain any water that might be in the boat. And what can I say, you wanna have a safe time when you're on the water. I really encourage all of you that are watching this show, if you don't have your Pleasure Craft Operator card and you live here in Canada where it is the law, you better get online with the folks at BoaterExam.com and get the card, you've got it for life. Hey, I hope you have some safe boating while you're on the water.